next on The Nightmare Room. I didn't do it. I am so tired of your lies. Did you ever get tired of having an answer for everything? Nope. Do you actually believe that? I'm sure if he says something is true, then it must be true. So there's a mummy walking around. Do you think he's going to stay wrapped in bandages? My lies are coming true. When the lights fade and the moon rises, anything can happen. The world becomes a carnival of shocks and chills. A whirling merry-go-round that never stops, spinning faster and faster, taking you on a frightening ride. I'm R.L. Stein. Don't fall asleep. Or you may find yourself in... The Nightmare Room. Hey, Dad, where's the remote? It's not on the table. Josh, you know anything about the scratch in your mom's car? I already told her. I have no idea. She said she found your hockey stick about 10 feet from the car. It's probably Brandon next door. He's always using my stuff. Brandon also tossed your progress report in the garbage? Dad, I put that on your desk. You probably threw it away by accident. I didn't throw it away, Josh. And Mrs. Shimadro says you're not doing your math homework. I always do my work. That's a mistake. I'll talk to Mrs. Shimadro this morning, okay? Do you ever get tired of having an answer for everything? Nope. One more bad report from school for any reason, and you're grounded for a month. Are we clear? Yeah. Got your homework again? Mrs. Shimadro is gonna freak. No, no, Nikki. Sub. Good morning. I'm Mr. Farber. Mrs. Shimadro is ill today. I see there's a worksheet due. So I'll collect them and then we'll get started. I don't have mine. No. Why not? My house was broken into last night. Yeah, right. No, it's true. The cops even know who did it. They're like some escaped prisoners, and they wear these uh, clown masks. So they broke in, these men in clown masks, and made away with your math paper. No, no, it was sitting on my DVD player, and they took my homework by accident. This thing was brand new, too. I just got it for my birthday. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, we'll give you another paper and you can hand it in tomorrow. Do you actually believe that? Well, Josh seems like an honest young man to me. I'm sure if he says something is true, then it must be true. Hmm? When did you see a mummy move? At the History Museum, I am dead serious. They had a mummy case, and I was staring at it, and all of a sudden, the hand moved. No way. The whole hand or just like a finger? The whole hand. It wiggled. And that is the real reason why they shut down the exhibit. Because one night, it escaped. Right. So there's a mummy walking around, and nobody's seen him. Don't you know the whole legend about that mummy? Why it was even at the museum? I remember reading something about it. It's a wizard from like a thousand years ago. And this was the year he vowed to come back to life. To do what? Get married? Raise mummy kids? To find a new body. How's he gonna do it? 
find a new body. I don't know. I don't want to be the guy. Cops from a manhunt for that stolen math homework yet? Yeah, they did. Thanks for your concern. You know what would be funny? If you lost that worksheet and had to come up with another story. So where is it, huh? Backpack? Way off, man. Or what? Or my brother's gonna tear you apart. You think I'm kidding, huh? Frank just got back from military school. Right, Nikki? My parents sent him there because regular school couldn't handle him. And you know what? Neither could that place. Nikki! What was that? Um, that was a jar full of snakes from Mr. Freeman's science lab. Oh, way to go. Now they're crawling all over in there. Dude, you don't know when to quit. Tomorrow, man. That was totally hilarious. These are Mr. Friedman's snakes. But I didn't put them in here. So somebody else did as a joke. Lucky you. Listen, you want me to ask one of my brother's friends to help you? For what? Pretend to be Frank to scare Patrick off. You're not going to be this lucky all the time. Dad? Wherever you are. Please don't come in. Please don't come in. <laughs> well, look at this. A brand new DVD player. <laughs> Where's the jewelry? I wonder if it could be in here. Dad? Are you okay? Yeah. You're fine? They didn't hurt you? I'm okay, it's just... Totally ripped off. Looks like they took everything. TV, stereo, DVD player. Oh, man. They even took my math homework. See you guys later. Made the front page, huh? They were escape prisoners? Did I, like, know about these guys before? Well, it says they've been on the run for about a week, so maybe you heard something on the news. I guess I just forgot about it. That explains it. Explains what? Nothing. I'm fine. I'll see you later, okay? So where is he? Where's who? Your brother Frank, the one they couldn't handle at military school. Listen, Patrick. I Look, I don't feel like listening. Maybe Frank would like to listen, huh? Negative. I don't feel like listening either. Touch my brother again. I will cause you irreversible harm. Are we clear on that, soldier? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah! That was so sweet. That was so sweet, sir! Dude, he's gone now. You can cut the sir stuff. Me running off the enemy's gonna cost you, little bro. Wait, wait a second. Nikki said she'd find someone to help. I never said I'd pay for it. You will pay with your allowance, with your lunch money, and with any and all your possessions that I feel like taking. You will 
Follow orders, little bro. Nikki, where'd you find that psycho? What psycho? The guy your brother got to scare Patrick. He's homicidal. I haven't even told my brother about that yet. No way you had to. Like some mutant military kid showed up and scared off Patrick. Just like we talked about. Problem, Mr. Ryan? Uh, no. All right. If you say there's no problem, then that must be true. That Mr. Farber is one strange sub. Forget Farber, Nick. You gotta get your brother to make this Frank guy lay off me. I'm telling you, it wasn't my brother. Then who was it? I have no idea. So how'd you get away? I told my new ninjas. Excuse me? I thought you just said you told them you knew ninjas. Paid ninja bodyguards. And if you didn't leave me alone, I'd get them to take them out. You're losing it, Josh. I oh, know. Josh Ryan to the office. Josh to the office. All right. What happened earlier between you and Patrick Keegan? I didn't do it. Did he tell you I did it? No, he said your brother did. My brother? I don't have a brother. Josh, we both know you have a brother, Frank. And we both know he's had some discipline problems. Come on, Miss Hornback. You know I don't have a brother. Just stop it, Josh. I am so tired of your lies. You know, I'm going to have to call your parents. No, they'll ground me for a month. Anyways, uh, they're not home right now. They're on a trip in Hawaii. Well, I'll leave a message. Hey, Josh, check this. Sting is resting at the arena next month. Pay per view. Adam, I'm in a hurry. Come on, man. I'm just saying, let's get tickets. Can we get backstage? No. Why not? You said you knew him. You said talk to the sleeper hall. You even said you emailed each other, Adam, so... I can't. Why not? I gave you my skateboard because you promised you let me meet him. Now you can't even give me some lousy tickets? The guy hates me right now, okay? Like, I gave out his email address, and he got a million emails, and his whole computer crashed. He said the next time he saw me, he'd break me in half. I gotta go. I want my skateboard back. Mom, I know Miss Hornbeck called, but it wasn't my fault this time, I swear. Mom? Hello? Josh's mom. Mom, when are you coming home? Something really weird is going on. Hawaii? Hawaii? Yeah, remember the trip? Huh? My lies are coming true. Huh? <laughs> Little bro. Mr. Farber. I say something is true. Then it must be true. 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 Drop down and give me push off! I'm out of here. Ninjas! Paid bodyguards! He's over here! Hey! Whatever he's paying. I'll double it. Help! Help me! Help! He went AWOL out the window. Uh, let's search the perimeter. Now what I do? Hey, little bro. You guys don't understand. None of you are real. I lied you here. This aggressor represents a direct threat to our security. Therefore, I recommend that we attack and attack hard! Uh, cops, yeah. Patrol this neighborhood all the time. I swear, all they do is patrol. Nah, he's right. Gotcha. Ah, Where do you think you go? Everything <laughs> all right here? The reports of shouting, strangers in the area. Hold still. <sighs> What are you looking for? The shooter is calm, quiet, and 100%. Ouch! 
free of strangers. Wait, wait! Don't leave! You've got to help me! I'm in, like, total danger! Sorry, kid. We're just on patrol. That's all we do, is patrol. No, you have to help me! The clan robbers are here! Let these officers get back on patrol, little bro. What you just did there, soldier, that was treason. And according to the military law set forth by our forefathers, you will pay heavily for that offense! You're all gone. Everyone's gone. I'm all alone. Everybody's gone. I'm all alone. I gotta find Mr. Farber. Mr. Farber? Mr. Farber! Why are you doing this to me? Okay, everything is back the way it was before, except no Frank, no clown robbers, and no ninjas. Barber? I'm gonna break you in half, kid. I forgot about the steam. You know how many emails I got? About a million. Somebody help! Sting's after me! I'm gonna get you! I'm being chased by a professional wrestler! I'm coming to get you! Barber. He's gone. He was only here for the day. You've got to listen to me. There's a deranged wrestler chasing me, and if I say something to make him go away, I'm afraid it's going to backfire again. And I need Mr. Farber. Miss Hornback, I'm telling the truth, I swear. Like when you said you didn't have a brother named Frank. I'm going to get you. up or something so he never told another lie what makes you think he got away that he didn't learn the ultimate lesson <laughs> sorry but there is no way that story even close to happen you're not the first person who's told me that besides i didn't lie and i didn't cheat on that test so you can just save your stories 
All right, Mr. Castello. You look like an honest young man. If you tell me something is true, then it must be true. Thanks, Mr. Ryan. Josh Ryan still carries the scars of his childhood. A childhood spent lying to friends and family, he might still be lying, but for a painful cure administered by a substitute teacher. Today, Mr. Ryan carries on the lessons he learned in... The Nightmare Room.